Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Violet here, and today I'm gonna do a Fenty Beauty by Rihanna review. I'm, let's just get this straight, guys. Let's just get this straight real quick. I'm not a makeup guru. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm just a regular girl who knows how to put on makeup for her face and likes makeup. So, and I'm a big fan of Rihanna. So I was like, mm -mm, makeup, Rihanna, why not make a review? So I'm gonna do a makeup review. I bought a bit of everything. I spent $350. Rihanna got all my coins, um, you know, but it's Rihanna, so bad gal Rihanna all the way. Okay, get this started. I have a bit of everything. I'm gonna do most of my face is gonna be Rihanna um, Fancy Beauty. And let's get this show on the road. So first thing I'm gonna do is put primer on my face. I already have my eyebrows done because I have my own eyebrow routine that I like. But I'm gonna use her primer. I heard it is actually thebomb.com. So do people still say that? So let's try this out. So the primer is 32 milliliters and it was $40. Um, decent pricing, not bad. I love the packaging. Um, especially of the primer. I like how the top and like the cap is like a nude color and it feels like when I first saw it I was like okay but the feeling of the actual casing is very rich. It doesn't feel cheap at all. It feels more like glass than plastic so I like that a lot. Okay so for me primer is really important because I have oily ass skin so I need all the primer I can get in this life. Oh damn. Guys, okay. Let me just say this primer is actually bomb. Um it's drying on pretty fast. I just like I just started putting it on. Usually the primer I use, I have to put it on and then wait for it to dry for a few seconds. This one as I'm putting it on is drying on my face. It's actually bomb. If you have oily skin, this primer is for you. It's nice and dry. Feels nice. So my next thing I'm going to be using is her foundation, um, color 380. It's a cooler tone. I am usually use like warmer tone. I use NARS usually and it's like a warmer tone. But this is a cooler tone. Um, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to use a beauty blender for this. When I was buying the foundation in store, the sales associate that was helping me told me to not use a beauty blender because apparently this foundation dries up super quick. And it's better to use a brush, but I don't own a foundation brush and I'm way more comfortable with a beauty blender. So I decided to um, ignore that fact, but I see what she means. It is drying really quickly. <laughs> it is drying super quick, guys. And I'm not mad at that. I'm actually really happy. That's really good. And it feels light. It doesn't feel like, um, it doesn't feel like I have a bunch of makeup on my face. It doesn't feel cakey. And it seems to be full coverage. It's actually doing a really good job. And I can see the cool tone. It is really cool. So far, so good, guys. Like, you guys saw that my face was looking like, you know, like, uh, connect the dots. <laughs> like, connect the dots. And now it's looking flawless. So, I'm not mad. Hmm. Hmm. Rihanna. Hey, bad gal, eh? Look at you. Look at what y'all doing. It's full coverage. It's actually amazing. It doesn't feel heavy at all yeah. it does not feel cakey i love it and it dries on so quickly so it doesn't have too much moisture in it so it feels like um it's a bb cream yeah it's like a bb cream yeah it doesn't feel like oh like as if like you're soggy like you know that soggy mm -hmm. feeling it doesn't have that soggy feeling to it it has a very like okay like i have nothing on my face this is so weird it looks like you're not wearing anything i'm happy about that that's amazing okay so guys i have to say I actually love this foundation and that is a big news because I use NARS and I'm kind of like a NARS fan girl. I use NARS foundation and concealer and this is giving NARS a freaking run for its money. I love it. Okay, so next, I'm, I'm getting excited now because so far I love the primer and I love the foundation. Next, we're going to try out the trio. It's called the Match Sticks Trio. I got it in tan. And it has conceal, contour, and highlights. 
I, I have a confession guys. I've never contoured anything. I've never contoured anything in my life. I don't know how to contour. Um, so this should be interesting. I like the packaging of this. It's the coolest thing. I remember when I first got it and all my coworkers were like, ooh, let me play with it because like, it has the magnet, like the magnet and you can like put it like this. You can put it like this. It's really good for traveling because you know you have this and just this and so you don't have to worry about anything else. So the first thing I'm going to use is caramel and this is the um, conceal concealer. So I'm going to put it under my eyes. Okay. It feels nice. It goes on effortlessly. It's not too dry and it's not, it doesn't have too much moisture in it. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's not too moisturizing, if that makes any sense. And that is good for me because I have freaking oily ass skin. PSA, people that have oily ass skin like me, if your skin can fry egg any time of the year, this product is for you. If you have dry skin, use some moisturizer before you start using this. Because it is mattifying as hell. This is what it looks like. So far, the colors are pretty much good for my skin um, for my skin tone. It's not too dark, it's not too bright. It's just perfect. And this concealer, so far from what I can see, it seems to be concealing pretty damn well. I love the consistency. One thing I'll give an A++ to this product for it is the consistency for my skin and my kind of skin which is an oily skin is amazing it is an oily skinned girl's dream in the summer it is perfect oh my god it conceals nicely it conceals amazing i actually love oh my <laughs> okay it conceals so good i love it Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna stop. I'm sorry if I'm embarrassing myself right now, but I'm just slightly too excited for this product. I have to give Rihanna hands up because even my me and my friend were talking about it the other day. Rihanna really, like, she went over and beyond. Like, she did a proper introduction of her product. Like, she made sure everyone could get some, everyone has access to it. She made it for her customers and she did a good job. And the product, are there like everyone has something for them you don't have to restrict yourself to like having to like maybe get two different colors to match your skin tone too or i have to do that a lot i have to get two different colors of stuff so my skin tone like to get my skin tone and but with hers i don't have to do that because her stuff she has so much different foundations you'll find something for you for sure by force she made sure of that 40 different foundations. That's amazing. I think in this case for the concealer, I might like my NARS concealer slightly, ever so slightly more. Um, I feel like my NARS concealer conceals just slightly more. But this one, this is a close second. So next, I'm going to do um, a bit of contouring. My biggest nightmare because I don't know how to contour for my life if they put a gun to my head I was like violet contour beat your face up make that face snatched I'll have to say goodbye to my family because <coughs> I'll just do some crap on my face to be like okay But I'm gonna just for the sake of this review. I'm gonna try to contour anyways Interesting. Interesting. Ah, to bang ya. This is very interesting. Okay. Okay, guys. Don't drag me in the comments, please. This is um revolutionary for me right now. So let me live life in peace, please. Like I said before, her products are pretty matte. This is no different. It's pretty matte, which is good for me because for someone that is new to contouring and doesn't know anything about contouring really, it was easy for me to control and for it to go where I wanted it to go. A plus guys, A plus. 
I forgot to put translucent powder on guys um Rihanna doesn't have translucent powder she just has blotting powder so I'm gonna use my own translucent powder I use the Laura Mercier and I'm just gonna do that real quick being a makeup guru isn't too bad. <laughs> it's fun, huh? It's fun as hell. I can't even lie, guys. You guys are having a blast, eh? You guys, this this how y'all living, huh? <laughs> this how y'all eating? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is actually so fun. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna put on my own blush. It's the Tarte blush. It's called Party. Not party. Party. <laughs> party. That's what it's called. Would it be an abomination if I say I never use blush? Dun dun dun. <laughs> so this blush is very, um, it's pink, mauve maybe. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's cute though. I don't know if it's showing on camera the way it's showing me in person. This is actually so fun. I'm having such a blast right now. The blush is done. And now it's time for Rihanna's Fenty's highlighter. This is my um the part I'm really excited for. Okay, so this is kind of where it gets complicated because I have four different highlighters I can possibly use right now, okay? Um, yeah. Went a bit overboard there. But I have the trophy wife. I have Girl Next Door, I have Cheek Freak, that's with a PH, and I have Metal Moon. But I don't know. I think I might go with Metal Moon, guys. It's white, it's safe. I'm going out and I, you know, I can't... Don't let me embarrass myself for the tube now. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with the Metal Moon. I'm gonna put that on. And can I just talk about the the casein for these highlighters, especially the Metal Moon and Trophy Wife. I love the casein for the highlighters. It's white, it feels nice, but then if you move it around in light, you see like all the different colors. It's like metallic in a way. It's so cool. And it's like sparkly. Like there's like sparkles. I love it. Rihanna. Rihanna, you did good. You did good though. Hmm. Now you carry fists. <laughs> So I got my little brush. I heard her makeup, like her highlighter brush is amazing. It's out of this world. But I already spent so much money. I was just like, ha, huh, whew. Another $40, leave in my pocket like that. I don't know about that though. Okay, so this is the highlighter. Metal Moon. I love the name too, it's so creative. This is the white one. I don't know how it's going to look at my skin tone, but let's see how this works out. Okay, you know what? I'm not mad. I'm not mad at this. Um, it's actually looking quite nice. Way nicer than I thought it was going to look. I'm actually kind of shocked because because it's white, I thought it was going to show up more translucent and just kind of like, you just see a bunch of sparkles in my face. But it's looking like, I mean, it doesn't have a color to it like that. But it just looks that glowy look you want. Like that glowy look you want from highlighter, it gives you that. I'm kind of shocked. I thought it was going to give you more of like a sparkly look. But it's glowing you up. It's glowing me up nicely. I'm not mad. Look at this side, this highlighter. No highlighter yet. Highlighter. You see how it's blinding you? Yeah. No highlighter yet. Oh, I love it, guys. Oh my goodness. This might become one of my favorite highlighters. It's actually really, really nice. I'm actually in shock. Wow. Wow. Huh. Who would have thunk? Guys, I have to say, all these products are just... Like, she really... She she really tried on this. Like, she, she did a good job. She did a good job. Because nothing is below average. Everything is well above average right now. And I'm just really happy right now. I'm just kind of in heaven. I'm not even like a big, like, ooh, makeup, makeup, makeup. But for this fancy beauty... I'm gonna make up, make up, make up. <laughs> I'm gonna put it right below my eyebrow arch. Let it pop extra. What will a call? 
what will occur in this light when I blind someone with my eyebrows alone? They will see. They will see the real V V V I P. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that. Um, that's a wedding party reference for all my Nigerians out there. Okay, so that's done. Okay, so I just took a break. I did my eyeliner and I did my mascara because it's not Rihanna. It's not Fenty, so it's no use showing you guys that. Now I'm gonna get to the real star of the show, which is drum roll, Fenty Glow. Yes, what's it called? It is called Gloss Bomb. It is the only lip gloss lip item that Rihanna has right now, I believe. I believe. And everyone is going crazy because they're like, oh, it looks so good on every single skin tone, this and that. So I'm excited to see how it looks on mine. I have some lipstick on right now. I'm gonna wipe it off real quick. Gloss bomb time, gloss bomb. Um, in honesty, this is the one packaging I'm least impressed with. I feel like it looks cheap in all honesty. I don't like the cover at all. I don't know, I like lip glosses, like when they're like slim and like round and slender. I don't know, I, it's just like bulky. And I don't like how this is like metallic and like it's kind of like a mirror. And it just looks like, you know what it looks like? It looks like one of those things that like, when like the girl's like 12 years old or like 13 and she wants to like start using makeup. She's like, oh, this is cute. And it's like $5. I'm trying to be honest. I don't like this case at all. Um, but let's see if the stuff inside is better than what is outside. Ooh. Oh, guys, this smells like, it smells so good. It's like fruity. Like I wanna, I wanna eat it. It smells so good. Mmm, okay, ooh, okay, okay. Okay, so, it's, okay. I like how it's not too sticky, so it doesn't have that cheap feel to it. To it. Um, it's not too watery. It's a pretty good consistency for a lip gloss. Um, it has a peachy, slight peachy color to it, but for most part, for my lips at least, it's pretty translucent. Yeah, the consistency feels nice. It's not too runny, and it's not too, like sticky to the point that your freaking skin is coming off with it um it's pretty good quality it feels nice on your lips it smells amazing it doesn't have too much color so i see why she did that because that way if you're the darkest shade of black or the whitest shade of white it'll probably look good on you because it's just going to be like your normal lip color with slight peachy vibes <laughs> so um it's nice for like matching everyone's skin tone it's not for me that's the only thing in this whole line I can actually say I'm not crazy about. Everything else was pretty damn good. Rihanna, good job, good job. You did a good job. And continue to, you know, be amazing. Now you can see you're a humanitarian, you are a freaking artist, you are a musician, which is the same as an artist, you are an actress, you are a fashion icon, you are a model. You are now a freaking beauty brand owner. Like, that's amazing. And it's a good brand. It's not, like, just subpar. It's, like, it's good. She did a good job. Overall, guys, I would say the pricing is really good. The pricing is really affordable. It's either the same price as something else, like, in Sephora, or cheaper. It's not, there's nothing that's, like, oh, my God, that's so expensive. Um, it the packaging is nice. It's not cheap. It feels nice to the touch. The only thing that I didn't like in packaging was the lipstick. The amount of product you get is decent. You get a lot for your money. It's a pretty fair amount. It's not too small. It will last you a long time. You have an amazing amount of options. Like, all these big brand companies couldn't do this and Rihanna and herself and her fine ass self managed to get everyone their skin tone. Like how? How? What the hell? It's amazing. The options are amazing. She gives you the options for whatever foundation you want, which is like number one. So the options are amazing and A++++ for that. 
the application is amazing too like the application for all these products are good and that's coming from someone that isn't really like i said before at the beginning i'm not a makeup guru i'm not a makeup artist i'm not the best at makeup i just i feel like i know how to do makeup for myself and i do it like good enough and for someone that's never contoured i've never like used a lot of these things before it was pretty easy application and it was perfect consistency for me especially for someone that has an oily face if this was a different product you'd have just seen like sweat everywhere you'd have seen oil everywhere my face but it looks like the perfect consistency on my face right now it doesn't look bad it doesn't look too oily it doesn't look too dry it's like perfect right now i love the look i actually do love the look like i can't lie i can't lie apart from the lips apart from the lips i love the look <laughs> it doesn't oxidize it's pretty much stays the way it is when you put it on your face so i love that so you don't have to worry about you find your perfect shade and then halfway through the day you look like you have charcoal on your face it's not gonna look like that overall this product is amazing i'm so proud of rihanna like she's done it once again um i will definitely be a regular customer especially for the primer and the foundation those two are my favorite things the primer and the foundation good job so um, I hope this review helps you out. I hope it helped you make a few decisions on if you want to try this product out or not. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos every week. And I'll see you here next time. Bye!